Jitter video tutorial, how to use Jitter for animated content. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Jitter to create some amazing animated content. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to jitter.video. And the best part is, is that Jitter is available for free. So just head on over to Jitter video and click on sign in on the top right. Once you do that, you can sign up with your email address or continue with Google. And you're just going to select your email from here and then just click on continue. Once you do that, you will be welcomed by Jitter. So from here, just put in your name. And then you're going to answer your questions. I'm just going to answer a couple of questions like so. And we are looking for marketing content. And then you can send invites to build a team if you're working with your team. And then you have quite a few different options. So I'll just get started from our basic dashboard. Now this is going to be your dashboard on Jitter. And you will see your My Files section where you can create a new file or import from Figma. Then you have your templates section. So if you go into templates over here, you have quite a few different types of templates. You will see in the left panel, you have devices, logos, social media, video titles, ads, websites, UI elements, icons, buttons, text, you know, you have a lot that you can use. So as you guys can see, I want to build something like a ad for social media. So I'm going to go into the social media section and I think I'm going to go for video titles and I want to maybe use this bouncy period one. And I'm just going to take this first one and I am going to duplicate this to edit. Now, once I have loaded up my scene i'm just going to wait for this to be loaded it's a four second scene and i'm going to be replacing the text obviously into our own text as well so we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for our scenes to be loaded now not only can you edit the text you can include new elements within the pre-existing templates as well you can add shapes you can add images you can build different effects you can animate and design as well so first off i'm going to take the text to it is here like this and then we're going to change this as well the positioning of this like so now after that we can go into animate to see how everything is going to look like it is here like this now the bouncy period is a bit off so i'm going to move this closer over here like this it is here like this and then let's see how it proceeds further so i am going to take these sections that were present in the start and let's see what they look like so i think i want to remove the other half and after that i want to add some other elements so it is here like this now from here i can move my preview bar on the bottom click on new animation and i can add a new animation or i can go into the design section to edit the pre-existing design however i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to insert maybe an image over here let's say we have these product images yeah i think i'm gonna use these product images and insert those over here new animation and we might want this too we have different types of animations within this as well so let's just say we want this to grow in like this and you can expand the size you can alter that as well so if i go back to the start of this it is here like this so we have this animation now i'm going to increase the size and we can go ahead and move this over here and delete this section if you don't want that obviously it's in the previous scene but obviously if you are removing things it's going to be 
removed from your pre-existing scene as well but this is just one example if i was to show you guys some more this is just for a simple video title if we go on ahead and go into things such as your sliding web design so mobile show reels these are super popular nowadays to display apps and to display you know how it's going to look like on a consumer's end so you can really create amazing intros with this as well so if we open this up and we just see all of these now you guys can see this is the show reel mobile gallery like this so you can select every particular column and then within that you will see the numbered gallery the right column left column all of that over here and you can animate them into a different section obviously if you animate it into a different style it's not going to look as good so we are going to delete that if you do delete a section that's also going to you know look different but these are just some examples of the animations that you can use with jitter now if we create a new file from scratch and we want to build our own animation we can easily do that as well and we can insert our own objects let's say 20 23 and then i can insert this let's say i expand it click on the text i'll change the style a little and then we're going to make it black and then i'll increase the font size to maybe a 60 like this or 120 140 like this changing the color of the background taking our text over here and changing the color of that as well and then we can go into this section and this is our first scene and what we can do is that we can go into our text and then go into animate click on new animation and then you have different types of animation, mask, scale, you have out animation, custom animation. So you can go into the scale option, rotate, and let's say I go into the scale option. Now I can choose the new animation, the scale animation. But what I'm going to do is in the scale animation over here, I'm going to take it like so, place it right at the center, and then once it's at the center let's see what it's going to look like now i want this to bubble out so i can click on new animation and what i'm gonna do is make this a bit longer and i'm going to increase the size to maybe 200 percent like this so now if i go into the animation it's 200 percent and this is what it's going to look like so this is just one simple you know animation if i was to further increase the size obviously it's going to bubble out like i want it to like this and then i might want to add the same thing so i can just copy and paste the same thing and then i might want it to go in a negative direction so then it's going to go to zero from a bubble up size to this where it's going to you know feather in and then i can just click on export and i'll show you guys what the exported version of this is going to look like and it's just going to take a couple of seconds for your animations to be exported and you can export in different speeds as well as qualities obviously if you want 4k or full hd you do have to upgrade to the pro version but for 720p you can easily export for free so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe